Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Honorable Rafa Nagashimba. Uh, thank you very much uh, Ambassador Mwamba our Chair for Information and Publicity in the Patriotic Front, uh, members of Central Committee, our senior citizen, our fourth estate, members of the media. Good afternoon. I am honored to speak on behalf of uh, Patriotic Front to you countrymen and women, the international community, and the media that are present and those that are following us on various platforms. As stated by Ambassador Mwamba, I want to address the nation and I pray and hope that this message reaches all well-meaning Zambians in good time. Those in government, the church, faith-based organizations, civil society, stakeholders, including the international community, members of the ruling patriotic, I mean, uh, UPND party, and Zambians in the diaspora. Today is indeed a dark day for our beloved country, Mother Zambia. For the first time in the history of our country, the Zambian people have been brought to shame and absolute, ab absolute ridicule over their step of food, maize. Misaka in the Ichilema has demonstrated lack of seriousness in regard to the lives of Zambians. The scandal that is before us You'd expect that the head of state would not go to Copper Belt to go and attempt to politic, including parading civil servants to receive him just to satisfy his political appetite, to wink Zambians that there's something is doing when everything is collapsing under his leadership. Allow me, on behalf of the suffering masses, add the voice on the unfolding scandal, which I want to consider an act of terrorism. The UPND government is undertaking an act of genocide against its own people. The scandal concerning aflatoxins contained in Minimu that has caused the death, as it has been reported, of dogs, but as far as we are concerned, even the death of our fellow Zambians that are yet to be established, and hence for us having this press briefing. It has exposed the widening scandal in this UPND government led by Misaka in the Chema. Firstly, I want to say uh, there is no minimum for dogs. First, human, humans consume and leftovers are the ones that the dog eat. That is the practice generally in Zambia. There are very few people that feed dogs with what they call dog food. When you look at the numbers, which basically has been minimized and concealed for purposes of advancing a political narrative of the UPND to suggest that only 300 dogs 
That's a lie. Even from the reports that have been carried by other media houses, including Diamond TV, has shown that the numbers for the dogs that have died as a result of consuming this poisonous food is over and above 600. And obviously, we want answers. In this new Dawn government, which others are calling Doom government, nothing seems to be working. Yesterday, Minister of Health held a hasty presser to shield selected mirrors. First of all, as Zambians, we need to be reminded that when Patriotic Front government was leaving office, we had left enough food, in this case the staple food, in our strategic reserves that would last us more than three years. Recklessly, Ms. Akaindechrem and his uh, colleagues decided to sell that maize. And out of that reckless decision, we have ended up being subjected to having maize imported and milling imported, which is now revealing that it is contaminated with very dangerous chemical makeup, afrotoxins, that are collapsing organs of not only dogs. What is reported is that it affects the river, it affects you know, um, uh, kidneys. We are yet to get a report of how many human beings, brothers and sisters, have since passed on with, out, as a result of these toxins. Possibly even those of us who are here in this assembly could just be moving but headed towards the grave because of one man who has decided recklessly to subject his citizens, who entrusted him with the office of president, to kill them slowly. And the reason why I must declare today that the one killing not only the dogs, dogs but also Zambians like dogs is Misaka in the Because a report in reference to what is happening with this imported maize and minimum was given to him almost eight months ago. It was not only given to him but also the office of the president, the intelligence, has this report. The Minister of Health has this report. Why they chose to play politics, no one knows. We can only guess that uh, this is a reckless government. Government is the one that identified those to supply, or those they supplied imported maize. And uh, they did not safeguard the lives and the health of citizens, which is supposed to be their number one responsibility and priority. Instead, Misaka in the and the, his minister have been going circles trying to defend non mirrors who they identified themselves to be processing the maize they're importing and supplying on the market. The level of corruption at the Minister of Health are alarming. Would have expected that those who were there and identified to be corrupt, that punitive measures would have been taken. Instead, they are just reshuffled and changed here and there. And they have brought another person who, yesterday from his press briefing, was just waffling and not able to provide answers that Zambians expect, especially when you look at the magnitude of the matter we are dealing with. A lot of illegalities are being perpetuated and the ministry is turning in a blind eye from procuring fake drugs to missing drugs to expired drugs and now to, protect, to protecting non mirrors that are deliberately offloading minimum imported by government to the market that is contaminated without recourse. That is why many have said the people 
Mr. Aka in the HDM appoint, appoints are highly incompetent and messy. Ambassador, I wonder, we also have the likes of Mr. Kalira or Dr. Kalira, a member of parliament for Lukuru East, who's a medical doctor. Why hasn't the Aka in the HDM found it prudent to appoint this gentleman as Minister of Health? Because I think he thrives in having those who are not competent for purposes of manipulating them to advance his evil agenda. Because if he was really seeking for merit of those that should handle, especially a ministry that has to do with the lives of people, he'd have been looking for competence. And people who know what providing health services to the citizens, what it takes. Already we want to inform the nation that it is alleged that money is exchanging hands among selected millers with the Minister of Health officials and some state house officials to prevent the public from knowing which millers of Minimil brands that have contaminated Minimil. Awamboto putwa siga je deguji tika nchaguti muchima ore degutu ambila. Guti mamiras wa gaya busu buri contaminated mbaba ababa ababa so that mazambianzi varege inoso gula ya busu amena zambia varingilo kuleka ukushita ubunga kumamirazi abe shibiko kutida eva lega yobunga uaba contaminated echo uteko bure fishira nchi nchi pantu budo ubunga is on the market and people, obviously, that's a step of food they are still buying. It is expected, and we demand now, that Muchima and his president, Aka Inde Ichirema, they should address the nation and itemize, give us the names of people or minas that they supplied that imported maize and have milled, and the, the minimum is in the market. That's the only way a serious government would be able to curtail the further effect damaging effect against his citizens. But to have people waffling around the lives of people is very sad. Zambians, please, please, government Uyunga wa ZNS, Osadia. Sakirani na unga uyamine, u, uyamine uri market after this candle has been exposed. Please don't eat until answers are provided from this government. Musakrambe uti sinakambe. Because what is going to happen is that the same way dogs have been dying like flies, is what is going to now begin to manifest among humans. And because Mr. Aka in the is the papa of corruption, don't expect anything from him, but expect a press briefing defending the mirrors and insulting the opposition. Mr. Aka in the is going to address the nation and blame PF even for the poisons they are feeding the Zambian people, as if we were there when they were importing, as if we were there when they were identifying mirrors to be able to help them kill Zambians. This one, we are putting it squarely on the shoulders of Ms. Aka in the Because there is a report that he was given, he should have considered, and precautionary measures should have already been taken by now than to wait for death to occur. They are going to hide in the fact that they are investigating. Uh, the mechanism we have in this country is that if there is a crisis of this nature, it can only take hours and answers will be provided. From when this story broke out, we gave UPND a chance to provide answers. From last week, we have been waiting. And today, on behalf of the Zambian people, we are saying this government is reckless. And clearly, this food that is contaminated is being provided to Zambi the Zambian people deliberately.
possible with an agenda of eliminating Zambians over the global agenda of reducing the population in Africa. But however, I want to state the following. We know that there is no system in Zambia which is working. Everything has collapsed. The mining sector, the health sector, the agriculture sector, justice, the rule of law, just about everything has collapsed under Mr. Hakainde HM. It is a known fact that the Zambian government is importing minimu and maize into the country from South Africa, Tanzania, and we have also received donations from Burundi. And what is also interesting is that Nangura uh, Tapasoswa we are also receiving maize from America. Americans don't eat maize. It's not part of their menu. In America, maize is fed to animals. And now they are giving us that maize for us to eat, which most of it is actually GMO. And this UPND government has demonstrated recklessness to a point where you can't trust them that they can prioritize the health of Zambians by scrutinizing uh, the food that they are importing. Look at the fact that they can have expired drugs, you know, imported. You have drugs that are in containers kept for over six months in the sun. When that is discovered, they quietly just move the drugs to the storehouse and they begin to distribute without subjecting those drugs to further investigation and scrutiny to see whether they still are, the drugs are still, you know, uh, in a state that it can be used and useful to human consumption or indeed to medical uh, standards. The, the Zambia Compulsory Standard Agency did their due diligence, like I said, and this report is actually sitting with Mr. Akainde Chirema. And like I said, the OP, the Minister of Health, for over six, eight months, in Zambia, under UNIP, under MMD governments and PF government, we developed silos, which were for strategic storage of maize, and those can store maize even up to 10 years. But in, the, in this country where we are importing, you know, importing minimum, which is our staple food, we are actually getting this minimum from countries that don't eat maize as their staple food. How safe are we? The beginning of the problem is what I said, is that immediately Mr. Haka and the HLM and the European Reform Government, they overpromised on the issue of the price of the dollar. That was the source of the problem. When HH gave the mines which were our number one export, you know, export dollar earner, he gave them tax holidays because of obligations he had over the years to the UPND sponsors, uh, who had mining interests for the period UPND was in opposition. He promised them mining rights and tax holidays in order to recover what they invested in sponsoring him in opposition. So once in government, he got desperate, and uh, he wanted obviously to show off that the dollar was improving, hence the only commodity at his disposal was maize in order to earn dollars. I'm sure Mr. Bukshaba Mchima and not Mchima Rufuma, but as I'm going forward, we have a good deal of 15 million dollars from DRC where we're going to sell maize. Quite a bunch of us are blind, as if they are not educated, without thinking beyond today. And today we are in a crisis. That is why you saw that the dollar was reducing a bit at some point. But he didn't tell you that he was selling strategic maize reserves left by the Patriotic Front. You know, this same uh, Mr. Lungu, he insults day and night. Hence, after they were exposed and the Zambian people discovered, we saw conflicting statements from government. Madam Chushika Sanda is our hero because she went open and announced to the nation that that's why 
she was removed from the ministry and they brought in a Vuvuzela who acts like he is on steroids and gives conflicting statements with his peers, Tabo Kawana, and sometimes they contradict each other as ministers. After HH ran out of maize to export so that he can pl play with the dollar, the next available commodity was electricity. Now we are subjected to untold road shedding. Until now, no shame, with no shame, is still exporting electricity at the expense of the Zambian people, which is creating a vicious cycle. All this just so as to earn a little dollar to cushion the price matrix in order to present himself as a fix, as fixer, when in fact not. Very soon he will run out of that what to, to export and the quacha will be free on a free flow trajectory. And I want you to mark my words. Very soon. Back to the issue. The maize that was produced by small-scale farmers was sold. It is irresponsible for any government. How can a parent sell food in his own house and remain empty and start depending on neighbors? FRA gets most of his stocks from small-scale farmers, those who benefit from FISIA. Most of the commercial farmers are allowed to sell, some even export. Now the hard-end sweat of taxpayers' money was quickly exported just to cushion the dollar that they had promised when it comes in between 10 and 14, it would have dropped. It is a blue line that we owe the farmers and needed to sell the maize in order to pay what we owed. There is no government. He was a minister at the time. I was minister. He was ambassador. And colleagues are here, former home affairs minister. There is no polit ruling political party that can go in an election without paying farmers. First of all, it's political suicide because farmers will not spare you in the ballot. So it's a lie that we never paid. We did pay the farmers. It was just a scheme to try and play the, the blame game. The demands we are making is that Ms. Michima and the, the president must be serious. What they are doing is that when they cause such a scandal, they now create a disruption and destruction. When this scandal came, broke out, the first thing they did is that in a brutal manner, they went and got our colleagues who they have put in prison in Mansa, moved them to Mukoweko prison. What offenses have they committed for them to be found at Mukoweko prison? Commission at, at, at causing, uh, 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 is it damage to property? is the one you are going to take them to Mukoweko. But they are playing all this as a tool to just distract the thinking of the Zambian people. Last week, after the president insulted everybody in, in southern province, they quickly sent police officers at a, in our former president's house in a battalion of over 70 police officers to just create a disruption. So that people now start talking, well, police officers are the uh, former president. Then later they issue a statement, no, they were delivering a call out. How can a small paper be delivered by over 70 officers? This is people, or what is going on in this country? For these people to be playing around with the, this kind of mediocrity, and we're just watching them. Zambians, now you are being killed slowly. If we continue this phobia and fear of not challenging this government, we will all be wiped out. We can only play our part as patriotic front to speak for you. But you have to cooperate to challenge, not for our interest, but for your own interest and the future, to challenge this government over the reckless decisions and steps they are taking. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you. Thank, you, thank you very much. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.